Hello YouTube, today I have a game of One Piece for you to, to show. I'll be commentating over my gameplay. I'm the one on the right piloting the green kid deck. I'm playing my friend, he's playing the red Zoro. We start off with the game of rock, paper, scissors. I win, so I decide to go first. We draw our starting hands. I'm content with the hand, so I draw my life, while my friend mulligans. Uh, I decided to choose, uh, stay with this hand, because I saw that it had both Okiku and Hawkins, which is a good play on 3 Dawn and 5 Dawn. For my starting turn, I don't have any plays, so I will just pass over to him. current hand is pretty good because it also has seven cost kit which is a very good attacker and defender because it can restand itself using its own effect my friend starts his turn he draws his dawn he starts his turn by playing one dawn for nami which searches the top five cards of it deck for a draw hat card other than nami herself it's actually been rotted so that he can search straw hat type event cards as well. With a Nami, he searches a chopper and he puts the, the rest of the cards back in the bottom of the deck in any order. He plays the chopper and passes on to me. I managed to draw Bonnie in my hand. It's a very good card, lets you search for a Super Naiva type card. But I start off with a straight attack to the face he takes it i play three dawn to summon my okiku she her effect is very good because she can rest a character which is level five or lower on the opponent's turn opponent side of the three let me in my opponent starts their turn with a, f a straight swing to my face with their leader and I block with a Nekomamushi, which is a 1k counter. My opponent still has 4 Dawn left. Ooh, the resting 4 Dawn to play Uta. This is a strange play at the moment because his grave is empty right now. Uta's ability lets you recycle a red card from your grave to your hand. He must have, uh, he must have used summoned Uta just for the body for the attack. But personally, I would not have done that. I rest one dawn for Bonnie, and then I rest another for its effect. She, she, she searches the top five cards of the deck to add a supernova type character card and add to hand, and then place the rest of the cards on the bottom of the deck in any order. For my choices in this five cards, I decided to go with another Bonnie to search deeper into the deck. I could have chosen the law, but I I already have a 7 cost kit in hand, so I wanted another body in, Bonnie instead. And we are gonna... And I decided to play the Bonnie to get more searches. Bonnie almost doubles as another blocker, because... It's rare that the opponent will let you keep the bonnies on the field for you to plus off them. Ooh, I want the one the 8 cost kit. Uh, I'd call it the boss monster of the 
kid deck when it's rested when when it has a dawn attached it's it it's as if kid is using his magnetic abilities to draw all attacks to itself so my goal and board for now is to is to get a blocker on the board and then the next turn summon the ACOS kid I attach a Dawn to the Okiku, sorry for the gut, attack into his leader with five, with 6k, and then I'll rest one of his characters. I decided to rest the Uta. He blocks with an Otama. I attack his Uta with my leader, and he blocks with another Otama. This isn't too bad for me because I managed to rip two of his 2k counter counters from hand and they are Otama which is very good against my deck because one of the ways red can deal with the 8 cost kit is by using Otama in concurrent with jet pistol so I'm happy to see them in the grave and not in his hand he attaches one to the Zoro and two to Uta Uta is now at 7, swinging, and then I decide to let the attack go and kill my Okiku. He swings with a Nami, 3 to my 1k body, I let it go through. He attaches another one to the Zoro, swinging with 7k to the body. I just let the body soak up the damage, and my field is clear. I start my turn. I drew a paradise waterfall. The paradise waterfall combos well with a 7 cost kit. Because you can block with the kid, the 7 cost kit, in concurrency with the, the waterfall to reset the kid while protecting it. Hmm, I'm eyeing the basil. But I want to start off my turn with a 6k swing to the 4k Uta. They block with a chopper. I rest 5. To summon my Basil Hawkins. He's a big threat for the red board. Because if he attacks a character card, he resets himself to active. And with 6k attack, it's very very scary <laughs> rest 4 for jet pistol very strong kills my my basil hawkins Attaches 2 Dawn to Zoro and then 2 Dawn to Uta, swing with 7k to face. I block with 3k with Peppo and Nekomamushi. And then it's my turn. I now have 9 Dawn in play. I attach one down to the kid, swing 6, 6k to the 4k Uta. Uta goes down. Ooh. I 
a 7 for my 7 cost kid. And I pass turn. I leave one dawn open for the waterfall event card. Oh, rest for dawn for the for the film law. Thereby making my seven class kid be able to be destroyed by his jet pistol. A very strong combo, but I'm a part of me is happy that he used that combo for the seven cost kid and not hold it for the eight cost kid in my hand. It passes back to me. Full Dawn, 10 Dawn to play with. Start off with a 5k swing to face. He takes it. There are 7 for another 7 cost kid. And I leave 3 Dawn open for events in hand. My green kid list runs 4. Four counter events. I run two jet, I run two wa paradise waterfalls, and two punk Gibsons. Attaches one to the law, making it a seven k attack. I rest one for the paradise waterfall. Reset the, the kid. That's why this combo is very strong. It makes... It makes 7 cost kid a 9k blocker. Zoro is now at 9k attack. So I block with a 7 cost, use 2 Dawn for a Punk Gibson, making it 12k. They summon Uta, this time adding back Chopper. Resting his remaining dawn to summon the chopper. I draw into a Momonosuke, the searcher of the Wano cards. At this point, I'm eyeing the 8 cost kid in hand because having 7 cost kid and 8 cost kid at the same time is a very strong board. Attach one dawn to the seven cost kid. He, I swing to kill his law. Kid restands himself at the end of the turn and he has a dawn attached. I ate his blocker with my kid. I have nine dawn left active. I swing five to the Nami with my leader. I'm counting my dawn. I summon the kid, and then I will use this effect, summoning a level 3 or lower, I summon Momo, and attach a Dawn to the kid to activate its Omni Blocker effect. I pass over to my opponent.
this strong is very this board is very hard to beat because I can protect my eight cost kid with my seven cost kid if they stack their attack in a way that I can't block with the cards in my hand. He is attaching seven no six to the law and then four to the Zoro. No, three to the Zoro, yeah. He is swinging with the, the law to my 8 cost kid, and I let my 7 cost kid eat the attack. Yes. He swings 9 with Zoro to my 8 cost kid, but I do have a 2k counter in my hand, so it does not go through. With a cost kit in my field, I'm in a pretty good position. I rest one dawn for the Momonosuke to look for a land of Wano card. Momonosuke is the only option. I grab Okiku with my second Momonosuke. I attach one Dawn to my Ikos Kid and swing nine to the five K Law. When I play green, I I like to keep their board low. Before I engage in attacks. I swing with a seven. He takes it from the life. And then I'm gonna use the K No. I rest three for Okiku to make my board a little bit stronger. Okiku's resting effect is very good. It lets you bypass five cost or lower blockers, and it helps in controlling the board a little bit more. Opponent attaches seven to Zara to swing into the kid. I don't have blocker or counters in hand to protect it, so I let it die. With three dawn left. My opponent attaches one to Uta. And swings into one of my Momos. They rest two dawn to summon a Vivi. Vivi is very good in the Zora deck because it's a 2 dawn. It may attack the next turn with a Zora attach. I'm at a fairly good position. I see that his life is at 2. When. in the late game. The leader kid has a pretty good time rushing down the opponent's life with its restand effect. So I'm trying to get my opponent into a situation where the restand will kill them. I touch I touch two to the Okiku making the seven K attacker. I 
attack into his leader, resting the resting the Vivi, and they counter with three. I am attacking with nine with leader. Then I'm resting three, tossing a card, and then attacking with nine again. He takes the the hit. Swings at me with five, and I block with a one K. They're attaching two to the the Uta, making it a seven K attack, killing my Okiku. I let it go through with no fuss because I see that I don't need any other card but the leader kid to win the game. They attack with the Vivi, killing my Momonosuke. And they rest 5 Dawn to summon their Rush Luffy. Rush Luffy is very good. It, it is a 5 cost 6k attacker with a rush. And then I... I set aside 3 Dawn, attach 7 Dawn to the kit, and swing with 12k. My opponent does have enough cards in hand to counter out of that one attack, <laughs> but he shows me that he has no no other card to prevent this, the reswing with Kid, so I do win the match. 